Gaffer, was it frustrating to see Saturday's game at Lincoln City called off? Uh, a little bit, that frustration. Um, I think it was the right call in the end. When you consider, uh, you know, we had a strong, you know, following who were all setting off quarter to 11, 11 o'clock is. I think it was the right decision on behalf of the supporters and the state of the pitch, player welfare. So uh, there's nothing we could do. We'd prepared right. Uh, we'd just come off the back of a great victory on Tuesday night. We were over in the hotel and I just got a phone call from Simon Mell and saying that the game was being cancelled. So on reflection, the right decision. Um, you get over your frustrations pretty quick and then you start planning again. So we're planning for a very positive, strong week. With the amount of lads injured at the moment, did it act as a blessing in disguise in some way or did you just want to bounce into another fixture after beating Bristol Rovers? Uh, a little bit of both. You, you want to bounce into the next game, uh, you're positive. We've been positive all season uh, and we were positive regardless of the injury situation going into Saturday's game. Uh, but again, it could be a blessing in disguise. Uh, we have only played 12 games as we're approaching the November, so it's it's unthinkable and unthought of that we'd only played so uh, you know so few games. So we've got a lot of games to play, which is real positive from my point of view. Uh, and hopefully we'll have one or two, maybe three or four, maybe five or six players back available for the next time we play against uh, in Lincoln. So it could be a blessing in disguise, definitely. Now, of course, we look ahead to tomorrow night's Leasing.com Trophy tie against Manchester City under 21s. Do they provide us with? A different challenge to anything we've faced this season? Yes. Uh, they're an excellent side. Uh, mirror image of the first team squad in everything that they try and do. Identical almost, which is a testament to Man City and you know, uh, Man City, Manchester City's franchise. You know, uh, I think the way that they do things is brilliant and it's led from the top by Pep. You know, he's created an infrastructure, a style and identity you know, that uh, bounces all the way down to the six, sevens age groups. But the 23 side that we're facing tomorrow, they're a superb side, individually and collectively, and, and it, it would be like watching, you know, Manchester City's first team squad. Yeah, it'll be a very young team, a lot of teenage lads, young men, but they've done really well against men in this competition so far, haven't they, in the least in that control? Well, they did last year as well. I think they got to the quarter-final last year and got beat by Sunderland. Uh, they're a good side. Young international men, international players who've been recruited from other great football clubs all over Europe and, you know, the the, the area of Manchester, if you like. I think uh, the blending and combining, you know, everything that they have as a football club to maximise their potential, whether it be a kid from, you know, Low Broughton in Manchester or a kid from uh, PSG. Uh, the, the, they're actually collaborating, you know, two worlds colliding together to create this brand Man City. And I think it's marvellous what they're doing, I really do. Um, and I've got a lot of respect uh, for their identity, you know, uh, Jason Wilcox and what he's doing at Man City, you know, with the 23s, with the academy, you know, and, and their identity, you know, I think everybody in the football world knows what Manchester City's identity is or the franchise of Manchester City and it's being conveyed from the first team all the way down to sixes and sevens and uh, the infrastructure is superb. When you come up against a talented young side like Manchester City's under 21's team, how do you go about getting an advantage in that game? Is it a case of using the experience that we've got to try and beat them? You, you need uh, intelligent energy. You know one thing that Manchester City have, it's energy with and without the ball. Positive energy, creative energy, passing energy, you know, defensive energy. So we have to match, we have to marry, and we have to try and be better the opponents. Uh, and you know, people will think I'm sat here, crazy, rocking and mature about Manchester City under 23s, but Manchester City under 23s will be in Manchester City's future, potentially. You know, they get the infrastructure right. I think Pep's been there three years now. You know, and I think it's evident that the 23s will start replacing some of the, the players who are coming towards the end, you know, of the, of the futures, if you like, at Manchester City. I think that's the structure that he's now putting in place. 
Um, but for our opportunities, uh, we have to try and, well, what I'm trying to do is create our own environment and I want it to be evident um, in our playing style and in our possession. And we have to try and be better in order controlling games and opponents in and out of possession. On Tuesday night against Manchester City, we have to be better than them in and out of possession as much as we can, and hopefully we will be. We've spoken about it a lot lately, the injury situation. How's the squad at the moment? Is it is it the same as it was before the weekend? I think so. Uh, we've got a training session today, we've got a match tonight, before we go into tomorrow's game, so uh, touch wood. Uh, it's similar. Hopefully it'll start getting stronger as we get into November, December time as we lead into a transfer window in January, which is very important to us. But uh, we're encouraged by the product that the players are producing, uh, the way that they're dealing with the situation that we find ourselves in, and they're very positive and uh, they're very approachable with respect to the identity that we're trying to create. So looking forward to the games, looking forward to the injured players who are injured, getting back on the training pitch, which makes us stronger, stronger to attack not just Manchester City in the leasing.com trophy but attack the 32 games that we've got remaining in the league.